Right, in this video, what we're going to look at doing is doing the branch pipe for this hexagonal branch pipe going into this cylindrical main pipe. I'm going to start out and I'm going to take a line coming out from the branch pipe surface over there at 45 degrees. Um, and my first thing that I need to do is to measure off the distances of the, of the lines that um, make up the sides of the branch pipe. Let's start by drawing a little line, const oopsie, construction line coming out over here. Let's just rub that out quickly. Okay, so I've got a line coming out at 90 degrees over here from that surface, and I'm going to label that as number one. Reason being, well, there's number one. I'm going to label that as number one over there. I'm going to take this true length distance off the auxiliary view, one to two. And I come over here and I mark off one to two. Mark that as two. Two to three is going to be the same. Three to four, the same. Four to five, the same. Five to six, the same. And remember, six going back to one. We must have that side as well. So one to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to one. Check that again. Write the numbers in so that you know. Two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, and six back to one. Okay, once I've got that, I can say, well, what is the length of number one and all the rest of it? I'm just going to take some construction lines coming out here just to get those points. Just construction lines coming out from all of these lines. Okay, and that last one I'll do a construction line as well. Right, um, what is the height of number one? There it is. I take a line coming across from number one, links up over there, and it continues through to there. So I've got that length of line number one. No issues, I can draw that in. Draw it in dark, draw it in dark. Right, uh, let's have a look at six and two. Six and two is that length over there. Take that across, there's number two over there, carrying across to number six over there. I can draw that line in. Remember, it's a hexagon, so I can draw these edges in dark. Six and two, all nicely darkened in. Right, um, let's do three and five over here. Take that across from there. Let's do three and five. Nice dark line going there. Nice dark line going there. And number four, we'll note is a little bit shorter, or oh, it's more or less exactly on the same. I think it's slightly, slightly shorter going back over here. I'm gonna do it in green. Um, so there's four just in over there, and I can draw in four over there. Right, okay. Um, let's have a look at doing the curve of interpenetration. Remember, I can't just draw straight lines over here because I have a curve over here. I need to show that curve in here. How do I get that? Well, I know that there is a point A between one and two. Let's find the distance between one and A. Let's go over here. There is the distance between one and A. Come over here and I go to that point over there I mark off A over there, and I can now draw in a 45 degree line over here. Let's do that in red. And I'm going to find A on this drawing, take that across from A over here. There is point A. I now have a curve which is going to go between there and there and I can draw that in as a curve. Remember, it's not a straight line, it is a curve. Right, um, do I have anything happening between three and two? 
No, so that would be a straight line over there. Three and two is a straight line. Do I have anything going between four and three? Very definitely. Where is D? Distance from three to D is that distance over there. Go over to three, mark off where D is, draw a line going out over here. Okay, so that is point D over there. How high is point D? Well, there's point D over there coming across over here. There is that point over there. Um, and, uh, well, that's very, very small little dip that we do down. It'd be a very small, very small little dip that goes around there. Okay, there we go. Do I have a dip between four and five? Let's see, there's C over there. That distance from four to C. Let's go to there, mark off where C is over here. There's C. Draw a line coming out at 45 degrees over there. C would be on that green line over there. And I have another small little dip that goes in over here. And I can draw that in as a little curve. All right. Um, do I have anything happening between five and six? No. So that is a straight line that I need to draw in there. And do I have anything happening between six and one? Very definitely. There's B. I need to take that distance B. So six to B. Let's just look at that. Six to B, that would be in there. Let's draw in a construction line coming out over here. And I figure out where B is on this story over here. There's B, take the line out from where B is, it connects over there. And I can now say, well, I have a curve which is going to go in over here between those two points and I draw that curve in nice and neatly. Finish it off with a line that comes across here and that is the branch pipe done. Please don't forget to label the branch pipe as branch pipe.